So here's some more thoughts on uh, abuse and trauma and suicide and why uh, there's such a deep correlation. And uh, for me, um, you know, specifically sexual abuse, we're going to talk about that. Because when sexual abuse happens to you, and specifically at a young age, sexual abuse happens to you, um, sex is where we all come from. It is the main drive of life. It is a, a deep connection to our own purpose on this earth. Um, you know, we procreate, we procreate the species, and um, so it is like a deep root or rooting of, um, you know, our existence. And uh, when we experience a violation uh, to that purpose and that connection with ourselves, we become uprooted um, in a deep way uh, by our... Um, or of our, of we become deeply uprooted from our, um, you know, from one of our main uh, purposes and drives on this planet. And you know, whether you're gay or straight or or what have you, you know, people still have this innate, um, you know, sense and connection and drive to fulfill this you know, these sexual outcomes and desires. Whether you want to have kids or not, it's, it's, there's a biological piece there. Um, you know, and whether you're transgender, however you, however you um, experience your life, um, your connection to your sexual uh, experience is uh, like a deep deep connection to life itself and so if that is violated um and if that is violated you become disconnected to it because so often especially at a young age when we experience trauma we disconnect ourselves from that traumatic experience in order to protect our psyche in order to protect ourselves um, from the pain because the pain is so great and if we're at the mercy of caregivers who are doing this to us or someone who is doing to this to us and we can't express it then we have to bury this experience we and so we bury this separation we we and we bury this this you know very very um, fundamental uh, connection to our own existence and um, so so suicide is this you know perpetuation it's this thought perpetuation of uh, that disconnection um, and um, it's this you know it can be this this expression or this this feeling, if not um, addressed, of uh, being profoundly disconnected from your existence in the world. And, you know, what a psychiatrist told me, she asked me, Jeff, because I was telling her I was having a lot of I suicidal ideation at one point in my life, at one point, and she said, um, she said, Jeff, does it feel like a part of you is wanting to die you know not you but a part of you is and that's the profound piece of this it's that you know oftentimes that ideation that separation is actually a call for us to integrate the trauma to remember the trauma to feel the trauma to re-experience it and heal it and when we keep running from it and we keep um, you know, experience, when we keep running from the trauma, we will continue to experience this profound feeling of disconnection. And, um, 
it's can be so painful that you know the 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 knee-jerk reaction is to 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 run from it because you don't want to experience the pain but that is in, in the pain the wound is where the light gets in in the pain is where the healing happens and so you know you have to allow these feelings of suicide and you have to allow this you have to die you know um you have to to let this part of you that's so afraid of dying be felt you know in order to um integrate it into your experience to to re to reestablish this 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 fundamental piece of you that was um you know cut off from you and and in that you know you'll find that uh the the need to um to run to separate to uh to hide uh slowly slowly dissolves it eases up and uh you begin to change as a person you begin to feel safer in your body you begin to feel safer around other people you begin to have deeper connections with people and you begin to have a, a richer and deeper life so so those are my thoughts on reintegrating sorry there's a motorbike reintegrating um, those um, those lost pieces and and why you know feelings of suicide and thoughts of suicide can be so um, co-occurring I guess you could say as a clinical term but can be so um, you know connected to to that experience of separation um, yeah so leave it leave in the comments let me know what you think and, uh, and I'll talk to you all soon all right bye